Hi, David here of Lancaster Automart A to B. And here we've got a 2009 59 plate Mazda 3. It's a 1.6 TS. And what we'll be doing in this video is just showing you condition in the vehicle and some of the features it comes with. So first thing we'll do is start with the driver's side rear wheel. So as you can see, there's no curbing, no corrosion going on on that one. And then down the side of the vehicle, you'll notice it's actually very tidy considering black cars tend to pick up scratches and chips a little bit easier. Seems to be in very good condition. And to the driver's side front wheel, again, no curbing, no corrosion. As we move around the front, you see there's a very light amount of sort of fogging on the headlights, but nothing blocking the actual lenses, so not an MOT issue whatsoever. And as we move around, same again on the other side, but again, not concerned that one. Then as we get onto the passenger side, front wheel, there's a tiny little bit of curbing just there. The black bit you see around the edge is just where the tyre's been put on, that'll clean off. But yeah, that's the only sort of wear and tear I've seen so far. Then as we work our way around, again the passenger side, very clean. And onto the rear wheel. Again, needs a little bit of wheel acid on just to get some of the stubborn grime off, but otherwise not bad at all. And then onto the rear, where I've not seen any issues whatsoever. We'll just pop the boot open, just see what space is like in the back. Helps if I open the vehicle first. Mm -hmm. So inside the boot, you'll see there's plenty of room in there. Certainly not lacking. You do have a jack just behind there. If you want to see what that looks like, it's available in the photos on the advert. And then you do have a light over here, which I quite like the little addition of a switch. So you don't always have to have it on as a battery drain. I know it should go off when the boot shut, but if anybody, for example, doesn't close the boot properly, don't need to worry about that. Underneath the floor, you do have a spare wheel, which some people really do like, so that's always good. As you can see, the seats don't go completely flat, but there's not much of a lip at all. Certainly increases the space available inside the boot. So that is definitely a bonus. And you do get the 60-40 split as well. We'll just open the rear so you can see what it's like in here. So I'll just bring that side up. So you do actually get an armrest in the middle with two cup holders in the center. It is fabric seats all throughout and they are quite spongy, so they're very comfortable. And you'll see there is a pocket behind the passenger seat. So we'll just jump into the front now. And as we get in, I'll notice you've got electric windows all around and you've got electric folding wing mirrors. You've also got your driver stability control off button just as you get in. We'll just start the engine up as well, just so you know it is nice and healthy. And there we go, straight into life and all the warning lights straight off. Mileage there, 78,186. So for the age of vehicle, it's definitely on the lower end mileage wise. So on some of the features inside them. So you do have some controls over here. This is more for your sort of little trip computer up there. And then you've also got dual zone climate control, which is showing you temperature just up there alongside the radio station. Talking of radio, you do have some volume and channel controls alongside a mute button just on the left hand side of the wheel. You've then got your lights over on the left hand side and your wipers over on the right so they work pretty much exactly as you'd expect and they do have an intermittent setting over onto the center then so this is your radio fairly self-explanatory so you've got your volume over on that side and then right in the middle you've got your tuning don't know if you can see that very well but again works very simply so back to external sources so you do have auxiliary input you've also got cd you can fast track between your radios, so you've got FM, AM there. And then if you do use CD player, you've got disc and folder. So you, you can skip through things quite comfortably. It's very self-explanatory. However, I suspect most people will just use the auxiliary input. So I'll show you where to find that in a moment. Just beforehand though, here's your aircon controls. So if you hit dual, you can then just adjust both dials completely separately and they'll do their own thing. But for now, we'll leave them on the same. Just below that as well, got your aircon, recirculate, your mode where the air is pointing, and then your 2D misters. Just underneath there, you do have an ashtray, even though somebody else put it. Oh, sorry, it's not an ashtray, I should say. It's just a 12 volt power outlet, hence the being a no smoking sign there. It's just a little storage cubby, that one. And coming down from there, you've got a five speed manual gearbox, nice manual handbrake, a couple of cup holders underneath there, and then under this armrest, 
you'll find auxiliary input and another 12 volt power outlet. So plenty of features in this vehicle. It's very reliable. Can't see any problems whatsoever inside. It seems to drive very nicely as well. But if you need to see that for yourself, don't hesitate to get in contact with us and I'm sure we can organize something with you. Otherwise, thanks for watching and take care. Bye.